Good morning, everybody. I'm definitely very tired. I leave in one minute or so. As promised, it's 45 degrees. There's a frost warning until 8 o'clock. That sucks. So I have to wear my winter coat. Don's putting coffee together for me to take with me. Then then she wants me to throw, throw in the coffee cup at her. No, I said throw it together, not throw it at me. Well, throw it together is the same thing as throwing it at you. It is not. <laughs> Think he's full of shit. No, maybe you are. Well, maybe that's why you're either Hazel. You're full of shit. No, yeah. Hazel is not. Shit is not Hazel color. <laughs> Sewer green. No. Yeah. I actually have a lot of blue in my eyes. What are you doing? <laughs> Rubbing one out today. What do you think you're doing? <laughs> Jeez. But yeah, good morning everybody. Even though I'd rather be in bed. Are you gonna go back to bed? Good morning. Well, good. It's not a good morning, it's a good night. Yeah, because you're sick. You need to go back to bed and sleep it off. After Tanil went, went to work, I laid back down for a little while because I haven't been feeling very good. And I've been up for a while now doing the dishes and got a couple of snowflakes out today. It's, kind of, it's pretty cold, windy, but it's all good. So I'm going to get the dishes done, floor sweat, sit down, relax, watch some more X-Files. I've been watching X-Files on and off for a while now. Not a lot going on today. Pretty much got the day off because of the tractor breaking down, blowing the hydraulic line. And Dan's working on that today to see if he can get the hydraulic line fixed or not. It's hard to say because there ain't no hydraulic place, uh, places around here for fixing things like that. And Dan's going to call Advanced Auto and see if there's anything that they can do about it. We don't know if they'll be able to fix the hydraulic line or have any in stock or what have you and when Dan gets it fixed he's gonna have to send Chris's and utilities a bill for getting it fixed because they sent up a tractor that they knew had problems and still sent it up here anyway and they told him that they were supposed to have a new tractor for him this year and they never did and they ended up sending him up a second piece of garbage this year and Dan ain't too happy about it Hey, look, it's dipshit. Oh, she finally made it home. <laughs> thanks a whole lot. Ooh. She said thanks a whole lot for being a dipshit. Um, no. What do you mean, no? It's cold out. Cold, I know. And then he got a beggar for lovin's. Concerned? Of course, he likes to beg. He's, He's a beggar for lovin's. Do you yeah, see that? Can <laughs> you <laughs> shit him out? <laughs> Well, here's dinner. Spanish rice that Don made and homemade garlic bread, which is going to be really good. And yes, it's sitting on my laptop, Mr. Jeff. But I don't eat it there. I just put it there to film and then I move it. I'm not that silly. Yeah, you are. No, I'm not. Yeah, maybe I'll just re I'll reach over there and give it a flip. No. All over your keyboard. No, that would be terrible. <laughs> what it? Yes. No worry. Yeah. That's how the evening's going so far. Don gets to go back to work tomorrow, and I work tomorrow too. But at least I get to spend the evening with him. So I'm going to play a little bit of something that I remember from high school, and Don says he remembers it too, and that it sucks, but I liked it. Yeah, it does suck. Donkey dick. So let's see his reaction. Good dog, donkey punch your ass. Yeah. <laughs> Garbage. Uh, it didn't even... We gotta get into the chorus. That's the good part. What chorus? Ain't no fucking chorus. Right there. Who there it is? Who there it is? Who there it is? <laughs> 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 
Say you don't like that? No, I don't. That was one of my favorites in high school. Give me some good old classic rock and I'm set. Ah. Bah, humbug. I like classic rock too, like the Beatles and the Doors and Led Zeppelin and stuff like that. But Oh, doorknobs? Leonard Skinner. Doorknobs. <laughs> yeah, the doors? Doorknobs? Yeah, the doors. Yeah, the doorknobs. Oh, come on. <laughs> what is it about you coming on? I don't know. How about riding through the desert on a horse with no name? <laughs> uh, nah. <laughs> That's from Breaking Bad. <laughs> Breaking Bad? Yeah, I remember the scene where Walt was out driving in the desert singing along to that song and his windshield was broken so the cop stopped him and he he argued with the cop and got tased and pepper sprayed and shit. <laughs> no, yeah. Yeah. Uh, to your ass. No. Keep you in line. No. Yeah. Don's trying to catch a moth. <laughs> it's over there it. now. I wonder when you can actually catch them on midair. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I got a teaser. You gonna tase a moth? Yeah. It's called the zap the bug zapper. Go throw it at the bug zapper. <laughs> Well, last time I did that to a moth, I just hold it by its wings and hold it right up against the bars on the bug zapper. <laughs> Bzzz. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a, it wasn't last summer, it was the summer before. There was a really huge moth. Big motherfucker. Got caught in the bug zapper. Yeah? Oh yeah, the motherfucker went up in flames. Fried moth. Oh yeah, the flames was coming off the moth up around the plastic could of the bug zapper. I go out there and put the flame out. Oh God. <laughs> Didn't want to burn the bug zapper down. Yeah, but that is one big moth. I've seen ones that made that one look like a baby. Yeah? Oh yeah. I measured the width of it. And I caught that stupid thing in the coffee pot this morning. And I was half asleep, so I just threw it on the floor instead of killing it. <laughs> Yeah, it's the biggest moth I've ever seen. I measured it from side to side for its wings just sitting there relaxed. It was six inches wide. Wow. Didn't measure the length, but it was wider than it was long, though. Yeah. I would say it was probably about four inches long. But it was, but it measured out from on its wings, though, sitting there relaxed, measured out six inches. Huh. From side to side. It was a good sized moth. Yeah. Kind of wish I still had the video of it, but it was on tape though. Oh yeah. Yeah, would have had to convert it over to or connect it to something to be able to. Well, if you take the tape to Walmart, they'll do it for you for like I, seventeen bucks. I don't got the tape I know anymore. you don't, but I've got some tapes I need to take in and have done. Yeah, cause that would have been a neat one to have. I recorded that back in, I think it was either ninety-seven or ninety-eight. Well, we've got some family vi. Uh, yeah, yeah, some. Family vacation videos and stuff from 1986. Yeah, there's two tapes I gotta get back from Dan. That's got Lexi on them. Yeah. So like Don told you earlier, it actually snowed today. Somebody came into Walmart and told me, and I pretty much called her a liar. And then more customers kept coming in saying it was snowing, and I was like, God, you gotta be shitting me. It was 90 yesterday and snowing today. Michigan is really bipolar. And I saw a car accident this morning. I mean, I didn't see it happen, but it was so fresh that the cops weren't there yet. Two vehicles hit head-on. Luckily, all the people seemed to be standing next to their vehicles, and nobody looked like they were hurt. So that was a weird thing to see. And before that, I saw a great big ugly-ass dead snake on the road leaving here, and crows were trying to eat it, so that was gross. When I came home from work, it was gone, luckily. Snakes are gross. No, they're not. Yes, they are. No. That's why I'm wanting a boat constrictor. Yeah, pet snakes are different, though. When you're, like, walking around in the woods and all of a sudden a snake comes slithering out at you and scares the shit out of you, that's gross. That's all right. Uh, Monday, I was doing one job for a business and I had to roll a big rock out of the way. I've seen a lizard. Well, lizard is a different story. Yeah. 
But when you're not expecting it, it goes fucking running right in between your legs, though. <laughs> That'd be it funny. It didn't scare me. It just thrilled me a little bit at first because I wasn't expecting it to be there. Yeah. It had, it had a blue tail. Yeah. Little bastards. I've actually caught some out here before. Yeah. Yeah, that's where I tried catching him. Barely even touched his tail and his tail broke off. Well, that's their, their defense mechanism. They grow him back. Yeah. Hmm. And his tail was still wiggling, too, right in my hand. Yeah, that's part of it. They they uh, ex they expect the predators to go after the tail because it's moving, and then they get away. Yep. Yeah. Sure does. So I'm getting really tired. Are you getting tired? I've been tired. Yeah. Yeah. So we're gonna go ahead and say good night, and we hope that you enjoyed the video, and that you subscribe, like, comment, share, and that you're having a good day. Good night. See you in the morning, in the evening time, get to go back to work finally, about fucking time. Yeah. Yeah, Dan ended up getting a brand new hydraulic line. Yeah. Had, he had to put hydraulic fluid in it, he only could afford to get five gallons, even though it takes more than five gallons, but we will have to do it for now. Yeah. I, mean, I don't know if Dan had to cover the parts out of his money or what. Or if you had to call the company up and get the credit card number off of them, or I don't know how the hell that went, but yeah, well, I'll probably hear all about it tomorrow. Yeah, at least it's taken care of. Yeah. Because the sooner you guys can get those jobs done, the sooner you'll make your money, and the sooner this will be over with, and the sooner I can spend more time with you. Oh, bullshit. Yeah. <laughs> I miss being able to spend my days off with you and stuff. I'd much rather work the whole summer if I could. But I already know that ain't gonna happen. Yeah. Well, as long as the jobs are there, I can work, but it will only last for so long because of all the jobs that build up over the winter. And once they're caught up, then I can't work because of the fact that then there's barely enough work for Dan. Yeah. It'd be nice if there'd be like 30, 40 jobs a week that would come in, but it don't work off that way. Yeah. So, bye. Good morning. Broken record? <laughs> I ain't a broken record. I'm a broken bastard. You are not. Yeah.